In early 2022, Darling Geomatics hosted a demonstration to the mining and engineering community to show them the accuracy of hyperspectral imaging to discover mineral recovery potential. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming. This is the Excelsior Johnson Mine, and we're here with Tron Loke from Norway, from a company called NEO, with his hyperspectral sensor with LiDAR, and we also have the maker of the drone here, Juan Manuel Gonzalez. He came all the way from Bogota, Colombia, and he built this Hercules heavy lift drone. Now we'll have Tron tell you about his sensor. Thank you. Just a quick introduction. Uh, so we are today flying the high specs uh, Mjolnir VS620 uh, with uh, the VLP32 pack LiDAR. Um, it has a 20 degree field of view, 1240 spatial pixels and 500 spectral bands. Uh, the system altogether here weighs uh, 25 kilos, just under the limit. Uh, it can fly for 20 minutes in, uh, uh, with the current batteries uh, on it. Uh, we have a gimbal on it for optocopters. They always try to stay stable, so they have a lot of movement. Uh, fixed wing, we don't use a gimbal typically, but for the optocopters we do. And uh, uh, the gimbal is uh, Gram C H16, uh, which can lift uh, 7.5 kilos, the, the payload we have here. And it's, uh, it's operational now, so you can see that it's, uh, or it's not operational now, <laughs> we turn it off. But it's, gonna, it's keeping the, the payload stable at all time. Um, the drone itself communicates with one computer on the back of this pickup uh, on 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, and the payload or the hyperspectral system on 5.8, so they are uh, not interfering with each other. Uh, this one has a range of uh, a couple of kilometers, and it can fly up to 4,000 meters. It's the max we have tested it. Great, let's, uh, let's take off. Though the heavy lift drone flights are fun to watch, there is more to hyperspectral and LiDAR mapping than just flying drones. The data generated from LiDAR is used to create very accurate, highly detailed digital surface models that display the terrain in a measurable form for engineers and geologists. A hyperspectral sensor creates data that is visualized to the human eye by selecting different wavelengths to generate false color RGB images like the one displayed here. Optical aperture there. Next to it. This hyperspectral image can be overlaid onto Google Earth for display purposes so the data can be viewed in context with surrounding landforms. Now it's got a little bit calmer, that's nice. The real treasures are the geology maps that are created based on the processing of the hyperspectral cube. As you can see from the legend with the color map, various minerals are readily identified. This process from start to finish is rendered from the drone data. Unlike many other mapping processes, this specialized high-spec sensor with LiDAR collects and maps the surface below with no need for preset ground control points or post-processing data adjustments for precision georeferencing, saving time and money. The entire pit you see here was mapped in less than two hours of flight time. The data would have been impossible to collect in any other way, giving mine operators the ability to expand the pit in the direction of the ore body based on never-before-seen wavelengths that allow the geologists to read the rocks in an entirely new way. Hyperspectral technology has tremendous potential in the mining industry and can be applied in multiple places in the value chain. With such a system on a drone, you can quickly scan large areas in active, unexplored, and even tailing sites. This helps to improve close-to-face sorting, material stream distribution, and may even lead to rediscovery of secondary, valuable raw materials 
as well as monitoring the environmental impact of commercial mining activities. For more information, contact Darling Geomatics.